And it's 8.43 a.m. We're checking in with a physician who is originally from Newfoundland and Labrador, but they're currently based in London, Ontario. Actually, Dr. Michael Hart was the first physician in London, Ontario to open a cannabis clinic. He's been a huge fighter against uh, the stigma that, that exists around medical marijuana, and he joins me live on the phone right now. Good morning, Dr. Michael Hart. Thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate it. Does it make you miss home or what, talking to VOCM? Absolutely. I love the accent. <laughs> so, I mean, tell us a little bit about, uh, from your standpoint, you know, has it been a hard-fought stance that you've taken in terms of weeding out the stigma around cannabis? Uh, I think that it's gotten uh, slowly a little bit easier as things have progressed. I mean, now that things uh, are legal, I think that uh, the stigma has really decreased, and I think that a lot of people uh, are using cannabis for uh, medical benefits, and a lot of people, um, you know, see and, and recognize that cannabis does have a lot of medical benefits. So, you know, I think that slowly uh, the stigma is is being decreased. So, I mean, recently I saw something flash through my Facebook feed that said experts are finally admitting that parts of cannabis, I'm not sure which parts, but they, they would actually help uh, when it comes to a cancer diagnosis. Is that true? So, I mean, the, the thing with, <clears throat> with cannabis and cancer is that uh, you know, we have a lot of evidence out there right now that, you know, cannabis can help treat a lot of the symptoms of, of cancer. And we also do have uh, some animal m- uh, models that show that uh, cannabis can actually uh, treat certain cancer tumors. But, you know, we certainly can't come out and say things like, you know, cannabis cures cancer or anything like that. I just don't think that we're far enough ahead uh, in that type of, of research. But <clears throat> we can certainly say that it can help treat a lot of the symptoms and we can also say that, you know, in the future, there is potential that uh, cannabis may be, um, you know, a therapeutic target for for reducing tumors and actually uh, helping treat the cancer itself. And like, what kind of, who are the people that you treat in your clinic? I mean, is it, is it people with epilepsy? Is it people with cancerous tumors? Who, who needs medical marijuana? So, I mean, I treat, uh, you know, various types of, of illnesses in my clinic, but, you know, the, the big things that I think people are using cannabis for these days are chronic pain, uh, sleep, so insomnia, and then also to anxiety and mental illness. So, um, you know, with when it comes to, to chronic pain, I mean, a lot of people have been able to reduce the use of opioids uh, and NSAIDs uh, with the use of cannabis. So, you know, that's been really helpful for a lot of those patients. Uh, and in addition to that, you know, the, the patients who, who, are, um, who have trouble sleeping at night, um, you know, a lot of people have been able to calm off a lot of their medications, um, you know, using cannabis. And they find that, um, you know, when they use it properly, uh, they wake up the next morning and they feel much more refreshed. They have a lot, a lot more energy as opposed to when they're using uh, their sleeping pill, which sometimes can, can make them drowsy. So, you know, there's a lot of different indications for cannabis, but, you know, those would kind of be the main ones that I would that I would use cannabis for. And Dr. Hart, we had somebody on here from the NLC, and even though you're in London, Ontario, I know you know what that means because you're from here. So he was <laughs> on here. <laughs> All right, you know the lingo, you know the lingo. Um, but he was saying that when it comes to CBD, there was more seniors stepping forward and saying, like, give, give me that CBD oil. So I guess my first question is, what are the seniors using it for? So as we know, you know, polypharmacy is a big issue amongst seniors. You know, a lot of seniors just start on one or two medications, and, and sometimes it's not even, you know, four or five. It's, you know, eight to ten uh, medications. So, you know, CBD is a great medication for a lot of those uh, particular patients because it does have so many indications. So, you know, like I said, it's used for chronic pain. A lot of uh, elderly people have chronic pain. It's also used for insomnia. You know, a lot of elderly people uh, don't don't sleep that well. It's also used for mood disorder. So, you know, a lot of people uh, who who are elderly, they have some anxiety, they have a lot of depression. So, you know, CBD can be effective for all those conditions. And I think that that's why there's a big demand from the senior population. It's because, you know, they're basically, um, you know, sick and tired of of, of using so many prescription medications and they just kind of want to simplify their life, simplify their routine and and, and their uh, medication. 
medications and their treatments. And, you know, when you use CBD, you can uh, treat so many different ailments just with one medication. So I think that's, you know, part of the reason why, why so many uh, elderly patients are, are using CBD. And, you know, also, too, I should note, lastly, that, you know, there's very few side effects with using CBD as opposed to a lot of the medications that, uh, that the other seniors are using. So, you know, I think that's a, a big attractive point with the CBD in that uh, particular population as well. And it, you don't get that euphoria. It doesn't sort of mess with your mind, right? Is that true? Correct. So uh, THC is, is the cannabinoid that does give you that euphoria um, that can, you know, possibly interfere with, with short-term memory wh- when you're, while you're using uh, THC. But when you're using CBD, you don't get that euphoria. Um, so it doesn't act in the same way as THC. It doesn't make you high. So because of that, you know, it's safe for things like going to work, driving, uh, you know, reading, writing, you know, doing whatever you want. It's not going to interfere with your cognition. You know, it may even, in fact, just, just increase your focus. You know, if you're someone who has some anxiety and you can't really focus, you know, using some CBD oil sometimes can, in fact, uh, reduce your anxiety and allow you to focus. So, you know, it can be really effective for uh, some people during the daytime. And Dr. Hart, as we move towards legalization of edibles, topicals, and extracts, I, so edibles you eat, topicals you put on your, on your skin, what are extracts? So extracts are basically a concentrated form of, of cannabis that, uh, you know, it can be used medicinally. You know, I think some people are uh, abusing it uh, recreationally, in, in, in my opinion. So, you know, um, an extract is something that uh, people can dab with uh, recreationally. So that's when you get a really, really high concentrated form of, of cannabis uh, that can be inhaled um, very, very quickly. So, you know, that's not the way, you know, the medicine was used before. So we really don't know, you know, the long-term side effects of that. So, you know, for, for myself, you know, I'm against dabbing. I don't think that people should uh, should partake in that. Um, but, you know, if you can get a concentrated form of, of cannabis and, you know, put that in a, uh, you know, a trusted vaporizer device, you know, that can deliver medicine, you know, that absolutely is, is a different story. And that may be effective for, for a lot of patients. And in your area of expertise, as, you know, somebody who supports medicine, medical cannabis are, are we ready for for the legalization of edibles topicals and extracts now yes I think that we are that we are uh, ready for it you know I think that um, you know we we've already had the legalization of, of the bud and and the oils and you know it's time now for everything else to become legal because if we don't I think that the black market is just going to grow I think that a lot of people are still really interested in using um, in using gummies using different edibles using Using different topicals and you know I think that there's a lot of people that are still going to the black market for that so you know why don't we make things available for everybody so that they you know don't have to go down the road to the dealer they can just go go to uh, you know a, an established um, a store and go in there and, and buy a product and with with confidence you know I think that'd be much much better for, for everyone involved excellent dr. Michael Hart thank you so much for checking in with us and before you go when are you coming home again now I'll, I'll be home Christmas time, and I'd love to uh, to, to come on air then again as well. All right. Well, I'm going to hold you to that now. <laughs> okay. All right. Perfect. Thanks so much. And one final yes, bye for you before you go back to your life in London, Ontario. Yes, yes bye. bye. Yeah, exactly. There you go. Thanks so 